Hi, I wanted to show you an application running on the new BlackBerry Playbook. Um, this is actually using the geolocation API uh, in uh, Flex. Um, so let me give you some background. This is uh, I just received my BlackBerry Playbook last week and I've been uh, running the debugger out of uh, Flash Builder 4.5. <clears throat> I had somebody approach me who wanted to build a check-in application. So the ability to actually find um, shops or clubs or whatever within a certain distance of where one's standing. So Foursquare is the classic check-in model where people actually are about to enter a store and they check into that store from a list. Well, that's what basically this, uh, the requirement was for this application. So this is kind of a rough version of, of what the application would be. Um, it's actually going to be built into a fully functioning application, but I wanted just to show you the the flow and the workings of the of the application. So on this screen here, you can actually see a number of things. Uh, I didn't show the loading of the application. I just uh, I'm sh showing it actually loaded. Um, you'll see in the top left hand corner here the actual lat long of this location. So this is my home, and uh, that's the actual latitude and longitude of of this particular um, location, spot in space, if you like. Underneath that is a is a list of places in the shops etc within half a mile radius of this uh, of this house and you can see it's a scrollable list so what i did there was i've actually used the um the geolocation the api and flex to get um to and using the gps on the actual uh, playbook device um i got the lat long and then i passed that to simple geo and a simple geo have uh, some a number of apis but one of which returns if you pass them the uh, lat long They'll, they'll pass you venues within the uh, proximity. So that's what we've done here. We've actually loaded all, the, all of the locations that are nearby my house. And as we look through, we, let me just select one in the list. So let's just go for the second one down, which is a Canyon Inn. You'll see the, the actual item itself um, is now highlighted. On the right-hand side, you'll see a listing, which has all come back from Simple Geo, giving you the name of the venue, the address, the city, the state, the zip, and then the phone number. Now we could go through and select the second one down which is 7-Eleven and again you'll see that the uh, right hand side is, is updated. So great, we want to check into 7-Eleven for example. Let's hit this next button. Now what you see that's been loaded there on the left hand side is that same information. So we selected 7-Eleven. I'm just repeating the information that was provided in that first uh, screen. So we're listing again the name and the address and the city. Now other things we can do here is we can actually input the name. So let's just put my name in, M-A-T-T, -T, and say I had some, I don't know, some kind of ID. Let's go 23. So, all good. So I've got an option, I've got the option here to either go back to the first screen if I want to, if I didn't want to select this one, I can actually check in or I can check out. So I've got two different screens here. Let's say we wanted to check in. So we were going to check into 7-Eleven. We'll hit that button. And there we have it. We've actually got a summary of the information that we've, we've input into uh, the playbook. So we've got the name of the, uh, the store, which is 7-Eleven. We've got my name and we've got my ID. Now other things we could do at this point is we could check into a server for example so if we wanted to track Matt at 7-Eleven with that ID we could actually have me hit the button a check, a check in button there and that would pass that information to a server with maybe a timestamp to then store where I was at that particular time similarly that we have a check out option with this application as well so when I'm finished in my, whatever I'm doing in 7-Eleven I can come outside and I can check out of 7-Eleven so we can kind of step through the same steps and instead of choosing the check in option there we could choose the check out option again that could then pass the information back to the server and the server would then have a full record of what time I checked in, who I am, where I've checked in and my ID and you can, we could add other stuff in there as well, the check out process could involve um, adding more information, um, some textual information. Maybe we wanted to make some notes about what we did in 7-Eleven. Maybe we want to take some pictures outside of 7-Eleven or some, some items inside of 7-Eleven. So there's a lot of things we could actually store on the server out of the playbook. So it's a very cool little application. I, I have found, and I made notes on my blog, I'll, I'll give a link to it off of this, uh, this video, um, that there is a GPS issue on the, on the playbook. Sometimes... I find that to the geolocation event in 
air, I, sh I said flex earlier on, this is actually an air application, I correct myself, sometimes that does not fire. And, if, and it seems as though from discussions it's relating to some software on the playbook and I think RIM are aware of that. So there is a minor issue with dual location API but uh, this is a very exciting application and uh, I'm going to develop this further for a particular client actually beyond what this is and it looks a lot different to this but the guts of it will be similar. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching.